is up internet this is kyle with slapshot toys and comics doing another batman action figure review tonight we're gonna be taking a look at the batman the animated series joker figure i was i was able to find this figure at my local comic book store and i'm super excited to add him to my collection because this is one of my favorite versions of the joker so let's go ahead get him out of the box and take a look at the figure here's the animated series joker out of the packaging and the same with the Batman in this line and all the other figures in this line, DC Collectibles did an absolutely phenomenal job capturing the likeness and the aesthetics of the characters from the animated TV show. This Joker is just flat out awesome, just based on my first impressions. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that this figure does come with. DC Collectibles has given us a ton of accessories to go with this figure. Uh, the first of which is this Strand of Pearls. Uh, not a whole lot going on as far as detail-wise, but still looks really cool. We know exactly what it is, uh, and it fits in one of the hands that it gives us quite well. Uh, next, we do have this Telescope. Again, not a whole lot as far as detail, but looks really good. I like the little blue glass kind of paint that they used. Uh, the soft gray looks really good. Uh, next up, we have a Ice Pick. And this looks really good as well. I really like the uh, shiny gray paint that they used on the actual pick. And then just like the little sculpting there on the handle and grip. That all looks really, really good. Uh, next, they gave us a little blue comb. And again, for as small as this is, it's pretty cool. It has like all the individual little teeth and just a little blue color. Not, no real other detailing in the sculpt or anything like that as I just throw it across the light box. Uh, next up, we do have the little scuba... Uh, helmet that he comes with and this just sits on the uh, figure it looks pretty cool uh, uh, just I mean clear plastic with the uh, little yellow dots right there not a whole lot to it but still looks really cool uh, next we are given two sets of hands um, the, well actually three if you count the closed fists that are on the figure uh, these uh, work really well for holding the comb and the ice pick Again, I really like the way that they captured the kind of blocky animation uh, aesthetic that the, that the show did have. I think that came really well in those hands. And then the next ones, uh, these work really well for holding the strand of pearls. It was slightly a little bit more open. Uh, the, the pearls uh, fit nicely, like kind of right in that little gap right there. Uh, so you can have them hold those. So it does come with those two sets of hands as well as the closed fists that are, are, that are already on the figure. And then last but not least, we do get another stand, much like we got with Batman. Uh, these stands are fantastic. I'm really happy DC Collectibles included them. Um, not a whole lot to this one. Uh, same thing as the other ones. This can move up and down like so. Cool thing about this one is it can also move, uh, if I can get it out, uh, it can move along this track as well, so it can come out just a little bit. And then the one thing I really also like is that they have put the uh, little pictures of the figures themselves on the base along with the Batman animated symbol. And I, I just think that's really, really cool and it's awesome that DC Collectibles has given us uh, that stand. Uh, but these are some really cool and a lot of accessories that come with this figure and I'm really happy that uh, DC Collectibles uh, added all of them. So let's take a closer look at the figure itself. And I think DC Collectibles, again, just did a phenomenal job with this. Just the likeness. If you look at this face, I mean, this looks dead on the Joker from the animated series. And I absolutely love what they did here with the hair. With It's a very, very dark hunter green uh, throughout most of the hair. And then they did these like real light, like kind of lime, uh, lighter green uh, highlights that just look absolutely stunning. Uh, I really like what they did with that hair a lot. And then moving down, just the grin. I, I mean, the animated series for me, the Joker, the grin and the fa like facial expressions made the Joker. And they just did a wonderful job capturing it on these figures. And then you just have this huge, larger-than-life grin. And all those little black lines there in the teeth just look fantastic. I love the red on the lips. Uh, the paint apps came, came out wonderfully, especially on the white skin of uh, the Joker. The eyes just look sinister. Uh, the nose looks fantastic. I mean, this is this literally looks like it jumped off the TV screen and straight into my uh, figure collection. Just looks absolutely wonderful. I love the purple that they use for this suit. It's detailed really well. Um, and, and like I said with the Batman, I really like that they went with 
it, it looks like the animated series. They didn't do a whole lot of detail. They didn't add anything extra. It, it's just the basics of you know what the suit looked like in the in the cartoon. Uh, love the little tie right there, the nice little blue, the little kind of goldish, yellowish uh, undershirt looks really good. The flower looks really good, sculpted really well. Um, again, love the purple of the suit. Go back here, the little coattails look great. Uh, legs look really good. The only kind of thing, uh, the gloves look great. And then once again, I love that they use like the little blockiness. They really captured the blockiness of the animation of the animated series. Uh, the only thing that I don't necessarily really care for is the pants are basically like high waters. Uh, I wish they would have brought them down a little bit. There's not really a, I mean, there's a little bit of articulation down there that we'll get to in the next little segment. But I, I know they did that so they could get articulation down there, but I wish they would have lowered them. I just think it looks a little bit weird. Uh, but that's the only real complaint I have with this figure. Um, like I said, I think it looks like it just jumped off an animation cell and straight into my figure collection. Just a wonderfully, wonderfully designed figure. Taking a look at the articulation on this figure, it's actually pretty good. Um, we, our Joker can look up about that much, so not a whole lot there, but he can look down quite a bit. So good range of motion there. As far as his shoulders, he can reach out about 90 degrees from the torso there, so that's actually a really good range of motion. He can reach forward. Uh, probably about another 90 degrees. Uh, the suit, as you can kind of see right there, does hinder uh, how far he can reach up. Uh, he does have a swivel there at the elbow, and he is also single jointed at the elbow, which gives us about a 90 degree angle, as you can kind of see there. The wrists do swivel as well, and there is a up and down uh, joint on the wrist as well. As far as the torso, he it does have hip swivel, so he does have movement at the hip there. There is no sort of ab crunch or anything like that. As far as the legs, he can kick up quite a bit, so good decent range of motion there. He can kick back, again, really, really well, so another good range of motion there. He can do basically the full splits, just like the Batman, but you do kind of get that weird gap there in between the legs. Again, there is no thigh or uh, calf swivel. He is single jointed at the knee, so you get motion about like that. And then, as far as the leg or the sorry feet, uh, he does have feet rotation. And uh, actually, you know what? He does not have any sort of anything other than the uh, rotation. So there is no. Uh, joint there to go up and down which again kind of bothers me because they made the suit pants stop where they did i wish they went down just a little bit further uh, so we don't really get any articulation because of that uh, so that does kind of bother me just a little bit but not not a huge deal all right and just a quick side to side comparison between batman and the joker of the animated series line and i think that they're in almost perfect scale uh batman is just a hair taller than the joker and just a little bit wider, uh, but I think that in, as far as scale, these two look fantastic next to one another. So that will do it for my review of the Batman animated series Joker action figure. And once again, DC Collectibles has just absolutely knocked this line out of the park. I think every figure that I have seen and collected so far in this line has just been phenomenal. They look exactly like they jumped off the uh, animation cell and straight into a figure format. Uh, this Joker is absolutely no no exception from all the color work to just the design of the features that this character has. This is just a phenomenal figure. And once again, if you're a fan of the animated series and you collect uh, Batman figures, this is a line you definitely want to pick up. Uh, it's just absolutely phenomenal and I cannot wait to get this down on my display. Uh, but once again, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. Uh, if you guys could go ahead and subscribe, I have a bunch more videos coming up uh, on different uh, Hot Toys, Diamond Select, uh, a couple Square Enix figures, uh, a couple more Batman uh, figures as well. Uh, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss any of that content. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the Batman animated series, what you think of this line from DC Collectibles. I'm absolutely loving it. I think they did a phenomenal job. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, all comments are always welcome. Uh, and that is going to do it for me this evening. I look forward to hearing from you guys, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.